had the uh, beta FPV status for a while and I've been testing it and I want to give you my, my thoughts about it. The first thing that I want to talk about is the, the case. I think it's, it's fantastic the way that beta FPV has managed to get everything in this bag very nicely. Everything, everything has its place and I, I, I like a lot this bag, it's easy to pack it, bring it somewhere if you're going for a picnic or somewhere else that you want to use your drone, that you have it all. The second thing that I want to mention is that as this is a package, a starter kit, everything comes bound, everything comes ready it, and it's really ready. You open it, you charge your batteries and you can just go and fly. That's, that's fantastic, especially if you are a beginner. For, for you, that's very important. You don't have to fiddle with all the configurations and all the pushing the buttons and all that. That's, that is fantastic. The third thing is the control. I actually like it quite a lot. Um, I, I like my, my big controls like the Radio Master, but this one fits very well in your hands. I can use it with my thumbs as I'm used to, and then I can push the, the different switches without any problems with my fingers here. So I have nothing bad about this one. I think it's actually very good that it's this small. It's uh, people that it's starting in the hobby might find it easier to use this kind of control because they're similar to the PlayStation or any video game like that. And it might make it easier to transition to the hobby. And the other thing that is very important is that you can use this with a simulator, which again, it's very important if you're a beginner because you need to spend time in the simulator in order to learn how to use FPV drones. Next one is this charger. I think it's a very good idea from BetFPV to have done a charger that can show how many voltage do you have. So it's a charger and a battery checker. Uh, it's very compact, it's very easy to use. You have a way to plug two batteries and it's also USB-C. Everything, everything in the package is USB-C, which is uh, the current way to do things. And then you, you just need one cable to do everything. The image quality on the goggles is actually good. Um, I mean, for being the price that they are, it's good. If you are starting, that's gonna be enough for you. The goggles are not the most comfortable uh, that exist in the world, but they're gonna be what you need in the beginning. One more thing about the remote that I like it quite a lot is that actually you have one of the switch controls the speed of the drone, which means that if you are starting, you can have it very low. That, that means that the throttle is not going to give you a lot of power when you're moving it, and then it's going to be easy for you to control the drone. And while you progress, then you can increase that uh, speed just using the switches without needing to go into beta flight and connect it to the computer or anything like that in order to give more speed to your drone. I think that's a very good thing that Beta FPV did uh, with this kit. So you don't have to be connecting the drone and, and changing some weird numbers that you might not be aware of what they mean. Just one switch, three positions, three speeds. That's very well done. And the last good thing that I'm going to mention from this package is that I like a lot that you can use all the pieces with other things. The drone is based on FR Sky D8, which means that you can pair it, you can bound it, you can bind it with uh, any other multi protocol control like the Radio Master or the Jumper or anything like that. That's, that's a plus. The goggles can be used with any other an analog drone that you have if you want to, or they can be used as a second pair whenever you decide to upgrade. So one thing or the thing that I like the most from this package is that if you are starting, you can start with the pieces that are in the, in the kit, in the, in the box, and then little by little you can uh, upgrade your equipment. You can buy new goggles, uh, better goggles, and then you can use the goggles that are in the set as a, as a spare or as a co-pilot that can go with you, or you can use it as a monitor when you're working on the bench. That works pretty well. The remote, you can use it with other drones or you can use your new remote, again, like the, like the TX16 or something like that, with your drone. 
which means that you can upgrade little by little and still reuse the pieces that are here. Not like other boxes, other kits that they keep you in, in that kit. You cannot do anything else outside those three pieces that are in the box. Now let's talk about what's not that good from this package. The goggles, even though they have kind of good image quality, uh, because they are box and they are this mirror thing that they have inside, it's actually a little bit difficult to focus. I, I think that a lot of people will have difficulties trying to adapt themselves to this in the beginning. It's something that you have to get used to it. It's not a big problem, it's not a problem forever, but it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable. The charger, even though I like it a lot, only has two spaces. And with this kind of drones, one battery lasts around two and a half minutes, which means that normally you will have to have, I don't know, 10 batteries, eight batteries or something like that in order to have a good time. And having one charger with only two spaces, it's going to make it very difficult for you to plan or to charge on uh, all those batteries that you have. This means that most probably you're gonna have to buy many extra batteries together with this kit and chargers to charge those, those batteries. Other manufacturers have chargers, USB chargers with six places, which makes life much easier. You charge twice, you have 12 batteries, and then you're done. With only two places here, you're gonna spend some time charging batteries. Then we have to talk about these three modes that this drone has. This is the first time that I see this. I think the, 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 the DJI FPV drone has something similar or someone has talked about the similarities between these two, um, but I didn't find the what Beta FPV is calling the normal mode, something that was any nice to fly. Actually, when I was flying outside in normal mode, the drone kept going up, up and up, and I couldn't stop it. I had to disarm in order to, to get the drone back. I'm guessing that there was some kind of malfunction on that moment because I tried again and then it worked as it was supposed to work, but, but that happened. The sport mode that they talk about is the easiest one uh, to use if you are a beginner. It's more like the, the horizon mode that, that we had in the past. Uh, you can use it, it's fine, uh, but it's still, I find these three different modes a little bit confusing. Mode, normal mode and, and sport mode, didn't, I didn't find them any, any good. But of course in acro mode, uh, it was very fun to, to fly this little drone. And then I have to come to the biggest problem that I had with this set. Unfortunately, the drone kept losing the control signal quite often uh, because of no reason. I was just flying around, not far away. The drone will have the uh, lost RX uh, message on the goggles. It will go down, I will lose signal. I could start it kind of many times directly uh, and keep flying. I could even recover the drone a couple of times directly in the air, like, like if it had a micro uh, failsafe, but this happened quite often and it was actually terrible, terrible experience. There was one day that the drone never came, came up again. Like I, I had a loss, a RX loss, and I couldn't make anything to make it work again. I had to open a case with Beta FPV and they are still trying to figure out what's happening to this drone. Probably it was just bad luck and this is a defect on this specific drone. But um, unfortunately, this was a very big disruption in my experience with this drone. I had to try to rebind it several times. One time it worked, another time didn't work. Then if I disconnected the batteries, I needed to rebind the drone again. And there was a moment that just arming the drone, uh, waiting a couple of seconds, the drone will lose signal as with, without any reason. And this is quite difficult for me. Um, this is a sample that Beta FPV provided and still the quality of the drone, it's not good enough. And, and I'm opening a case and getting help from them, 
and still it's been like more than a week and they haven't figured out what the problem is. So this is a bit, uh, this is a bit disappointing and it's something that you have to consider when you are going to buy your equipment. Well, I presented you with what uh, I have been experiencing with this drone. Uh, there are many good things, there are some bad things as well. Everything has to be considered in the moment that you are going to buy something like this. Uh, I'm not a big fan of starting kits because I think that you can put something together yourself that is much better for a similar price. But I do understand that there are a lot of people that doesn't want to have to think about configuration and binding and putting this and putting that and beta flight and all those kind of things. And for those people, a starter kit will be the best way to start in the hobby. So do your research, find out what's out there, check if this one is one that will be what you wanted and then you can take a decision if you want to buy it or not. Thank you for watching and see you soon.